showing you how to use the blood stalker. Oh my gosh, you, you look pretty creepy if you looks like it car it looks like the blood stalker is carrying a dead body when you have uh, weapons out. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, on the blood stalker you can pull out weapons as you probably saw from the trailer. All kinds of stuff. So anyways, I'll t I'll show you the basics of the Bloodstalker. So with R2, or whatever you play on, uh, right click, or I'll just say R2, he does, he could, he does this thing where he spins a web, and uh, he can swing from it. <coughs> and to detach from this web, you could do an attack, which will disable it. And that, that's probably the best way to do it. If you just disable it. And if you click L2, you can use both webs and lean forward. It'd be easier to do it off of something taller to demonstrate, like in the redwood uh, thing that I just did. Now, the Bloodstalker has two jumps. Which is very unique to this game, because no other creature has two jumps. Well, maybe the Managama, but uh, I don't think that really counts. Which the Managama can go up to three. And if you hold A, you can do a super jump. And along with that, you can do another jump. Which is also pretty useful. And and you could charge, you could charge up this powerful jump uh, as you run along, wait, hold up, you could just, you could just like, run along, and then, boom, and uh, yeah, hold up, let me get back up here, there we go, yeah, the double jump is very useful, you can do it in like, all sorts of directions, you could double jump backwards, you could double jump sideways, and of course you could double jump forward in the other direction. Anyways, I had a long commercial break. Forgot what I was going to show you, but I'll show you this. So, you guys that don't know, you guys can walk on water and you can get the fish from below. Just come here fish and you can eat it, just like that. So yeah. Um, you jump very high, do a jumble jump. You could click L2 to do a double swing. You could hold R1, then hold L2 to do a double swing if you wanted to. You just hold R R2, then L2. It's an option that you could do. Hold R2, then L2, then boom. I love this creature because it it has very extremely smooth at animation especially for a game like this the animations it has is very extremely smooth but yeah as I showed you you could also equip these and just poke and you oh whoops alright well let me show you something else here let's go to the wall over here so Oh yeah, so as you go to a wall, as you like hold R2 and stuff, you could hold A and you will attach to the wall, like so. And you could get from the wall, you could get uh, mammals, or you could, e you could even get flyers. Here, let me, I want to try doing that. Um, Alright, right, there's a dimorphodon. And you could like climb. You know what? Oh, whatever. Oh, there we go. There's a trained on right there that we could get. So we just. Oh, I latched onto that. There we go. Alright. So. Okay, there we go. I forgot to cancel. 
So as hold up, let me try this. There we go. All right, I'm officially attached on the rock. Now, as you're on the rock, you get flyers like as small as trandadons, and just bring them toward you, and gobble them up. Just like that. And then bam, you, you killed someone on PT. And they weren't able to pick you. Another thing you could do is... Oh, get that boy. So you could rail them in. And then you could just let go. And they'll just stick to you. You could even bring them along with you as you jump. But you, you can't do a second jump while they're attached onto you. But you can just bring them wherever you want. Kind of like a leash on a dog. Come here, boy. So, yeah. This could be useful, like... Be like, uh... Be like... Like, there's just, like, some player, and he's about to run and turn to be like, Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoops. I, I latched onto the wrong thing. So you could just go, like... You'd be like, Whoa. I mess, I keep messing up. Maybe it's because it's just a really small target. Let me try to find something over here. There you go. So, let's say that this uh, guy on his data was about to run and turns and be like, Whoa, hey, 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 now slow down. Wait, now look right there. You can see there's a turret. Now, go ahead and find the other direction. I'll let you go. So, yeah, that could be useful to help someone or either just murder them. It, it could also be like if someone's like in a different tribe and they want to tame something. You just climb on a wall and pick them from there and then they would just be hanging from the wall as they are knocking out their dino. So yeah, that's, that's just an idea. Alright, I don't know if you guys remember me telling you this, but you could hold L2 or R2. Hold A and then you'd be able to latch onto the wall. If I, <laughs> I, I, oh my gosh, am I stuck in a swinging animation? Seriously? Whee!